Hey guys, Donna here from Socially Sorted. I wanted to show you a really quick thing that I think a lot of people miss on Twitter and I discovered it when I was doing a guest post for a major site a while back and I was um, looking at the website and could see that you can actually click in to see how many tweets are coming out about a blog post. Now that might not seem like, you know, something amazing, but the thing is that most people rely on their at mentions on Twitter, and uh, which is great. You know, you need to respond to them and you need to reply to them and have a conversation with people if they mention you. However, most of us are leaving many, many tweets uh, unrecognized because we don't realize this is happening. So if you look on this blog post here, the, this is the latest one I've done for Social Media Examiner. If I just scroll my mouse over the underlined part here on the tweet number you can see here it says this page has been shared 2006 times now if I click on it a page comes up it goes through to Twitter now what will happen is an a list will be automatically propagated of all the tweets that have come out from that blog post so it depends on how the blog post is set up now often if you're doing a guest post or something like that they will mention you when they set when they send out those initial tweets you know they'll put your uh, your Twitter Twitter handle on the actual tweet so in that case you would get notified but in this case I don't get notified unless I do that unless I click on the Twitter account so as you can see here there's a whole bunch of tweets now I would go up here to not just top but all maybe probably initially I would look at the top tweets and scroll down see I know Mike so I would immediately respond to him um, I know that Laura's done a nice little um, a summary of the of the blog post, which is pretty cool. So it's it's just a matter of finding the tweets you want to reply to and then replying to them. Now, obviously, with two thousand tweets, it's not always possible to get back to that many. If you're doing one a, a guest post for the first time, you might actually set aside some time and respond to as many as you can. Um, in this case, uh, I would definitely respond to a lot of these top tweets. So say I wanted to respond to Kim, I just hit reply and then write a little thank you note for sharing. Now sometimes when people do uh, tweet out an article, they'll also have the the Twitter username of the blog post, of the blog, so they might have at Social Media Examiner. Now if I was doing a lot of these, I wouldn't conclude the um, Social Media Examiner in every single tweet, otherwise they're their uh, Twitter stream is going to get flooded as well. So just use your discretion about that. But if you wanted to really get to know a lot of people that are interested in your content, this is a great way to get back to them. If I come up here to the all, I'll click on that. I won't just get the top tweets, I'll get all of them. Now a thing to know about this is that these tweets don't stay live forever. So I can scroll down, scroll down, this will go on and on and on. But Probably this, the tweets from the first couple of days when the post first came out will eventually uh, disappear from the record. Um, they'll still be on Twitter, but they'll disappear from this stream. So it's very worthwhile uh, getting, you know, getting familiar with what is being tweeted out about your articles or about your content. And this is the best way to do it. You can also do it on your own, on your own side, of course. Like I would do it on my socially sorted side as well. Uh, and I can, you know, go in there and see what's been happening on a, on a uh, tweet. So let's have a look here. If I just go in to my site, oh, I can just click through from here, just on my profile. Okay, so if I go to, through to my site and pick one of my latest blog posts, the same thing applies. So you'll need to go into the actual post. And then if I just scroll down, Again, I just roll my mouse over Twitter. Everyone has different social icons. And then not this tweet bit here, but where the number is. So again, you've got an underline part. I click on that and it will bring up, again, all the tweets from that post. Now, as you can see, there are um, more if I click all. So again, I can scroll down. And there's a couple there that I haven't responded to because I didn't have them come up in my... I didn't have them come up in my my at mentions okay so this is different to if I go to at here at connect and this is I'm using Twitter here as an example because that's where it shows up you could use this in you could um, obviously check your at mentions in Hootsuite or 
Sprout Social or whatever, whatever platform you use. But in this case, um, once you click on a post, it will then show you the raw form of all those tweets in Twitter. And again, I won't see them all here. I'll only see the ones where people mention my user name. Uh, so it's always worthwhile on your own blog posts and on any guest posts you do, just to take a bit of time to go through and see what, what people are tweeting about you um, and and responding to it. So, you know, it might not be 2,000 or 3,000 that you have to get back to and you don't need to get back to all of them. I'd highly recommend initially looking at top tweets, picking out people that you really want to connect with and say thank you, and then maybe um, having some sort of system for choosing who you'll respond to uh, or else blocking out a lot of time. If it is one of your first guest posts for a major site, I would highly recommend that you respond to as many people as you can. And don't say the same thing in each tweet. You can change it up a bit. But, uh, you know, this is a great way to connect with more people on Twitter and um, really uh, find out who's sharing your content. Okay, have fun with it and I will talk to you soon. Bye.